Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeevis, guys. And this is going to be the third and I think final part of this gigantic 10 by 30 unit. So as you can see now, this side's mostly clear. Other than a pile of trash we're waiting a trash bags for and the huge stuff that I mean, it's most likely going straight to the dump because I don't think we have any use for broken up wood. But you saw we haven't got to the doors yet, but there's a, still a whole bunch of stuff over here. So we're going to start going through this side and I think hopefully finish it off right now. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're gonna start here in this box. Oh, what a brilliant, great start. Made my day. But at least it was all in the container, not on the floor. You gotta be thankful here. Some post office. Oh, yeah, nice and dangerous. A nice piece of broken glass. But other than that, it looks like some old shipping labels or something. No, it's like packed on, priced by. So it's most likely something for a post office employee. It's not something we could actually use. Look at this old tackle box though. Completely oh, there's something in there. A oh, bobber. Is it? It's like stuck. Huh. It's stuck. But look in there. You can see it. There's like one disgusting bobber that looks like it was used efficient in a sewer. And a toy. And a toy. Enjoy. Another Budweiser. What is this? Oh, look and learn. Kids toy, I guess. Is there a date on the back here? I know, it looks old. There's not, there's a patent number, right. and that's about it. That's probably, maybe if anyone knows, I mean, let us know. But it's probably just something old, donatable. Let's get this thing out. Where do we go from here? Sorry there's a lot of stuff. No, no, no. I thought I have a Cleveland moment. Look at that, I mean, it might work. Most likely, probably not. That looks pretty ancient. I've seen some time. Grab this stuff on top. All right, let's see. This is literally a bag full of fabric. It looks like the stuff you put it down when you go to paint. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. I don't know. Can these cops go away? There's boogie board. Oh yeah. Do you know what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> boogie board. I mean, that's what I call it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, that's probably called what, a bodyboard or something. No. It's pretty beat up, though, but it is legendary, so don't talk bad about it. Alright. <gasps> a basket. Yes. Big money. You know what I just noticed, too? I can't believe I didn't notice it. There's another pile of records there. I look right up there. Yeah. And the one on top even looks sealed. But we have. A broken up Boost Mobile sign. If I wanted to find broken advertisements, I could have done dumpster diving. Look at that. That looks nice. Like part of a seat? Like, yeah, that's what it looks like. It even looks like all gold stuff. It's pretty nice. I mean, if you can find the rest of it. Otherwise, it's probably useless. But let's just hope that whatever is missing is buried in there somewhere. Look at that dartboard. Made in England by Scots. I mean, that's a real one. You can see all the little holes where the darts have gone in. Oh, look at that. No actual darts, but if we actually find darts in here, you know it's going down. <gasps> a leaf. A what? A leaf. <gasps> yes. Let's see here. What is this? That's hmm. creepy. Creepy clown thing. <laughs> that's pretty creepy. So oh, cool. Trying to like get some of this big junk out the way. Alright. Get all this stuff behind you. What is that? Oh, I thought that was supposed to be a jewelry box or a cigar box or something, but it's only half of something. glass is destroyed but looks like you got some artwork in there it could be somebody's kid or it could be a professional artist you have no idea can you read the bottom down there i don't know if anyone recognizes that you gotta let us know because art's another one of those things one's worth 10 cents the next one's worth 10 grand you just don't know let's see cardboard oh my gosh another giant box of records look at that can you see this? Mm -hmm. These ones don't appear to have... What is that? What? Nope. 
they don't appear to have sleeves. But still, another gigantic box full of records. Let's see what we see. Red Fox Restricted XXX. Is this record porn? <laughs> Dun -dun. But another box of records. Oh, more trash. Get out. It's like it's a fine line in doing these videos. I don't want to move anything, so it's not surprising. But then again, I don't want to make a 10 minute video just moving trash, but you got to get the full experience. All right, what do we got? Just junk. More trash. It looks like part of a bed frame at one time. It might have been where those things went. There's another set of them. I wonder if they fit like on this. They might. To fill that gap. Very well might. There's four of them though. Each package has two, so we have four of them. Look at these golf ones. Let's see if we can get over here. I don't want to knock too much stuff down, but check these out. If anyone's got an approximate age on that, there is no writing on it. There's some writing on the head. Look at that. Edgemont Mid Iron. That's crazy. They look really old. What about this one? I mean, I would guess they're the same thing since they're together, but... <laughs> I mean, look at the wood. That, is, that definitely has some age to it. So if anyone knows anything about that, another thing, let us know in the comments below. Let's try to get this out the way. What do we got? More trash. Yeah. What is that? Another magnet? What is it? Oh, wait, it's a audio... <laughs> audio... <laughs> auto radiography cassette. All right. So, I feel like I've seen these before. I've definitely never seen it. What about this? <sighs> huh. Not sure. Hey. Right. Are these mad cats? <clears throat> I don't see a thing on here, but you know why it's a bad, it's not a good thing, but I remember getting these cheap PlayStation controllers because when I was little and I played a little PlayStation, I got a little mad sometimes and I'd break them. So you know what? These are at five below for five bucks. I'd rather break five dollars than fifty. There's some cables in there. We, do we have a game system? That'd be cool. What garden. is that? The garden. GPS. Yep. Snap on magnetic rollers. Is that a camera? Yeah. Holy crap. That is ancient looking, a top con. Whoa. That is heavy too. That's heavier Wait, than the, ours. What's the model? Auto 100 top con. Oh, that is ancient looking. Oh, is this a case? Yeah, it's a carrying case. Take it out. I'm trying. This gloves. Oh, look. Oh. Well. That might be why. Let's just leave it in there. But that is ancient looking. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Set that aside. A wheel. There's a router in there, right there. Another controller, the same one. Not, Not sure. too sure. Uh, it looks like something that goes in like a reptile mm, tank. Well. Doesn't it? Yep. Like on Lucifer's tank. Yep. Like on our snake tank. Maybe, if it cleans up. <laughs> Those are definitely the AV cables that I'm pretty sure come with the Xbox 360, so. Hoping that's in here. Um, let's see. What is this? Uh, I thought that was a card at first. Uh, what is that? That is heavy, what is this? Ew, ew, ew. Bud Light. Uh, see anything else in here? It looks like all wires. Like somebody might have stored wire. Maybe they did copper. They just found wires and they kept them. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if there's anything in here. Let's see, this, this tub back here looks like all yeah. wood and paper. Oh, I thought that was a Wii at first. Looks like 
junk. Look at that shit. It looks like almost wooden. There's some old cool stuff in here. Alright. Let's try to keep going. Captain America shield. It's even got the hand. Yes. Or this spot to hold it. Kabam. Okay. This is all wood. So what is that? What is that thing? Uh, it looks like the thing that goes in the back of a, like a big deep fryer or something. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. What's under this? Ugh. <laughs> Whoa. What? Look at your shoes and they look like they're in really good condition. Give me one second. Let me get this down. <laughs> You gotta cross your fingers, guys. Cross your fingers with me that this is not supporting all this. Because if it is, it's not gonna go well. Here we go, moment of truth. I don't like the sound, the sound of that. Oh. oh, that was scary. That was scary. Let's see. I'm gonna get this white thing out. Might be. Yeah. I mean, the box looks disgusting. You would think they're disgusting, but. Okay, they're not. I mean, they're not disgusting, but they're not anything to be proud of. But I wonder, is this like a collector's shoe? Anybody know? Let us know. I don't know why they keep a random pair of Nikes like this. Well, guess box. what? If they're not, I'm going to wash them and wear them as like everyday shoes and donate these because they're kind of small. <laughs> what is this? What is that? It's not in there, whatever it is. Ace. Whatever this says. What does this say? Get it? Sterling original. Oh, I wonder if it's sterling silver. Mm. It's not in there, unfortunately, whatever it's supposed to be. A watch? This is a warranty. Oh. Uh, I don't know. What's sterling? I mean, it definitely looks like a watch. The inside's a watch. Yeah. What is it in here? Ooh. It's actually the game, Sports Illustrated. All right, guys, somebody's got to answer these questions. Ready? Who is horse racing's all-time most winning woman jockey? What was the captain of the American Cup winner during the 1980s? Okay, heck with <laughs> I don't know. It's not about UFC. I don't know. Eh. Okay, it's all closed in here. Unfortunately. What do you have in here? A baseball. Yeah, there's a baseball down there. Yay! A dog! And some pliers. I mean, all four are in there too. It's just opened. What else do we have in here? What is that? A vase or a bong? No, it's just a vase. Oh, cool. I'll take a flask. If this is clear, I would still be like every 90s cartoon mad scientist. That's pretty cool. What's in there? Can What's you in that this tub? This? Nothing. No. I see more wires. Just kind of shine a light in there, can you? Not while getting it on video. <laughs> oh, well, it's just pictures anyway. Oh, uh, other than that, this bag looks to be full of. Oh, that bag's literal trash. Why, why would you store just literal trash? Other than that, this cabinet looks like it could have something in it, but we're gonna have to do a lot of moving to figure that out. So. For now, we'll go ahead and cut it. And if we find anything else dramatic, I'll come back and show you. But until then, we'll do a recap when we get home. See you then. All right, so we just finished moving all kinds of stuff in. Everyone's always warning me in the comments that it finally happened. Luckily, we had gloves on, but there's an open syringe. I put this, we put this in a Gatorade bottle. That was just an open needle laying in there at first. So you guys, you're right. It is possible to find that. Just had to show it since everyone always mentions it. But let's get home and do a recap. All right, guys, so, you know, just typical trash, typical trash, abandoned trash, and, you know, just a typical full motorcycle in the middle of the woods. Who knows what that was used in? But, you know, just regular stuff around here, regular stuff. All right, guys, let's do one final recap on this massive unit. So, out of the three parts, this one definitely was the least intriguing. You didn't find too, too much this time around, but if you take into consideration, it was a three-part video, and the stuff we found in the first two, and then remember that this was a... $10 storage unit, $10. The profits are through the roof, easily over a grand, especially if all those bags from the first video come back real, way over a grand. Now it was a lot of work, a lot of moving, I'm not lying to you, 
my thighs are like <gasps> right now. <laughs> I'm sore, but you know what? That was a ton of fun to dig through, like an absolute blast. I love treasure hunting and especially in that level. That was so much fun to do. Now, as far as room goes, I don't know how often we'll be able to do 10 by 30s, but definitely gonna keep trying to do these bigger units, especially when the profits are looking like that. I forgot to mention in the last two parts of this video, guys, we are still doing that giveaway at 50K. Remember, two $50 gift cards to any subscribers. Anyone has a chance to win, we're just picking random comments and a random video. So as long as you're commenting and you're subscribed, you got a good shot at winning and it's coming quick now that these videos are getting pumped out. So get ready, cause they are coming. But anyway guys, that is gonna be it. Let me know how you like the 10 by 30s. What do you guys like more, 10 by 30s, five by five? It's it's all fun, but just let me know what you like more cause we're just gonna keep on pumping storage in the videos. But that's gonna be it. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, what are those cats doing? <laughs> Make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. And if you do wanna follow us on our social media, links will be on screen. Just click the links down in the description below. There's those subscribers going up right now. I'm telling you, we're getting closer every single day. Click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.